Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to another episode of Football Gup Shop. Please subscribe to this channel as well as press the bell button icon so you can receive notifications for the latest episode. So let's start today's episode. We have started a new series of what if transfers where we look at the clubs and see what players do they need and how much budget is required in order to acquire those players. We will see what do they have at present and which areas do they require strengthening and then we will look at potential targets and see if the respective club can acquire them. So we will allot them a specific budget and see if it works. In this second part of series, uh, as you've seen the thumbnail, we'll be looking at Manchester City. We will try to allot them about 150 to 175 million. Manchester City are the current champions and also the league leaders of the Premier League. City have a very strong uh, group of players. They have a very strong core. Manchester City target is to win the Champions League as well as uh, keeping the Premier League title. It seems that City are blessed in all positions and they don't need much in terms of recruitment. But still there are some areas which need attention. So City squad, they consist uh, of many good players. We'll be starting with Edison, Laporte, Diaz, Stones, Nathan Ake, Cancelo, Walker, Zinchenko, Fernandinho, Rodri, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Silva, Sterling, Mares, Jesus, Foden, Alvarez, and Grealish. Looking at which area needs most attention is of left back. As we all know, Mendy is suspended, whereas Zinchenko isn't up to the level of world class. Whereas in midfield, Fernandinho career is almost coming to an end. Rodri is a person uh, who is basically playing as an anchor for last two seasons. But if an injury takes place, then City do not have any specialist in the defensive midfield area. The most important position for City is the striker. As everyone knows that after Aguero, City haven't got a world-class striker in their squad. Jesus is not a world-class striker who can consistently score 25 goals per season. Perhaps that is the reason Pep has to play with, a, you could say, with a false nine system. And he has heavily uh, relied on that system in this current season. So what we have done is we have highlighted and we have shortlisted uh, some of the personnel for City to target. Uh, what we've chosen is three positions, which is of left back, defensive midfield, and striker. For left back, we have targeted Grimaldo, who is the perfect left back for City. He is a very attacking fullback who comes from the famous La Masia Academy of Barcelona. He has been playing for Benfica, but it seems that in this summer window, he will leave for a bigger club and City will be perfect for him. As for defensive midfielder, we have shortlisted Chirmeni. He is an upcoming prodigy who is a world-class defensive midfielder in terms of interception, blocking, as well as making passes from the deep. There are many clubs interested in him but he has no shortage of admirers in terms of continental clubs, especially Real Madrid and Barcelona. But playing for Pep will appeal to the player and he would be the perfect player for Pep Guardiola and City. As for the striker position, we have shortlisted two to three players, you could say. First one is Dybala. Everyone knows that Juventus have signed Vlahovic and Dybala is having issues with Juventus board in terms of agreeing a new contract. His willingness to stay in Italy is quite known. There was a chance for him to leave Italian football, but he chose not to. As for Pep, having a player like Dybala would suit him a lot. He is such a dynamic player and can play from deep to poacher position. Ideally, he is the perfect candidate for Guardiola. The second candidate for the striker position is Harry Kane. Pep Guardiola and City wanted to get Kane initially before the season started, but due to the valuation set by Devin Levy, who is the chairman of Tottenham, he, City were unable to get Kane. Kane is the perfect talisman who would be an equal replacement for Sergio Aguero. Harry Kane has the experience of playing in the Premier League. Uh, not only that, he has also won the Golden Boot in the league, although it would cost more to prize him away. The third candidate is Haaland, uh, who you could say is one of the star names in the world of football. And uh, he has many, uh, you could say, uh, many teams who are following him. It will be pretty tough for City to prize him away. As everyone knows that Real Madrid and Barcelona are also very keen on him. 
and Raiola, who is his agent, wants one of his clients to represent one of the Spanish giants. So City will have a lot of convincing to do. In terms of pricing, Germaldo will cost about 25 to 35 million, as he has only one year remaining on his contract. As for Shumeni, he will cost more than 50 million. As for Dybala, his contract is finishing at the end of the season, so he could sign for free. So that's a very good transfer if City could be able to pull that off. As for Kane, he has two years remaining on his contract. So City could offer 100 million again and see if they could get him this time. Whereas in terms of Haaland, there is a lot of competition, but perhaps for him to play under Guardiola might be the attraction. And he would cost around 100 million too. So involving all these transfers, the total cost will come around 175 million. So folks, hopefully you would have loved this episode. Please subscribe to this channel, press the like button and do give your suggestions in the comment section of what you think about these targets. Also do press the bell button icon so you could receive notifications and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.